Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. You know, many in the media have been talking quite loudly about their style of play and not everybody being kind about it. There are many who suggest it's negative. How do you see it, Lee? Well, listen, Derek, takes all types of play, different formations. Coaches try and adapt a system, soaking up the pressure, getting everybody behind the ball and hitting teams on the counter-attack. It's probably on the cards for this team today. Thank you. Good luck. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, foul play, says the referee. Barkley. It might be on for them. Giving it a try. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Matt Target, now with Ross Barkley, Barkley, it's with Morgan Sanson, Watkins, can he finish, goalkeeping right out of the top drawer, I cannot believe he's kept that out the net, absolutely amazing. Over it comes, but the keeper takes command of the situation. McGinn. Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Well, he's just had a pop, Derek. Absolute blistering strike. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we?
1 0 then. Aston Villa go. Number 10, Jack Greenwood. Matt Target. John McGinn. Target with it. McGinn. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Barkley. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Declan Rice. In possession, Bowen. Issa Diop. Jesse Lingard. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Shot attempted. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, Derek, there's the life of a manager right there. Pure frustration. It's such a thankless job at times. And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. It's been scored by Jordan Ayew. Amazing run, cutting through the defence and slotting home. 26 minutes played, 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Won it back. Can they take advantage? Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. John McGinn. Watkins. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. He's protecting it well. Antonio. Rice with it. Rice. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, possession seeded. Really well played pass. No possibilities inside the box. Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. Well, you can sense the frustration growing on the touchline, Derek. He knows that was an opportunity to get back into this. Well, the coach is kicking every ball down there in the technical area. I'm sure he thinks he could do better. They've given it away. It's opening up for them. An authoritative challenge. On Bonner. And taken away. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Good looking move, this. Not out of the woods yet. And I think the threat has been averted. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the... And now they get the ball rolling.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. John McGinn. Barkley. Lost possession. Sanson. Barkley. Target with it. Disappointing pass. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's West Ham United taking on Leicester City. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. McGinn. Barkley. And they deal with the threat this time. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Matty Cash. Traore. Teammate in support. Just couldn't get it through. Clears it away. Far from a good pass. Looks promising this. He got in the way of that cross. Over it comes. And putting his body on the line. And that's sound goalkeeping. Now smuggled behind for another corner. Well, Derek, he's trying to make himself heard down there. Very difficult to hear the coach from the sidelines. It's still very tight, this game. And a substitution in the offing. Played into the centre of the box. It's there for him. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Said Ben Rama. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAdally. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 66 minutes played, 3-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. 15 minutes of domination for Villa. They've created a lot from midfield. Their forwards are having a field day. Coach will be really happy with the creativity, but he'd be even happier if he can extend their lead now. Very happy indeed. Verdict is offside here. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. So 20 minutes to go. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. And the substitution will occur now. And a 
timely penalty save. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Declan Rice. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And clears his lines. Konsa. Throw-ins given. And time for the change now. Declan Rice. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Use of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The keeper had no chance as the ball was fired past him from 20 yards. Eight minutes remain, 4-2. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. It looks promising. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that you always get one more chance. They need that chance right now. The fans feel it might be coming too. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, Derek, the chip was always on. Keeper caught in no man's land. But it's still a difficult skill and it's a lovely finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. And time for the change now. Well, a second goal for them here. Aston Villa goal. Number 10, Jack Greenwood. For Niles. Cresswell with it. Suchek. And the right place to cut out the pass. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Sanson. Wesley has it. Courtney House. Well, it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Declan Rice. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. Lee, your assessment? Well, it takes four to five games to really get your match fitness at the start of any campaign. Just hope that you can hit the ground running and pick some points up before that. And they've done that today. Well done indeed. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. And now they get the ball rolling. Giving it a try. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Watkins. Can he finish? Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. 
McGinn. A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Shot attempted. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Our possibilities inside the box. Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. Well, you can sense the frustration growing on the touchline, Derek. He knows that was an opportunity. And that's sound goalkeeping. Now well, smuggled behind for another corner. And you have to say, it was on the cards. 